Hello and welcome everybody. So today is a new day and we are going to start with the new topic which is it is of course not a new topic for you all ICC uh, for class 9 students Julius Caesar is a new topic we have already finished act 1 of Julius Caesar today what we are going to do is the question answers from act 1 scene 1 you know all the acts uh, matlab, sorry act 1 ke sare scenes I have already uploaded explanation videos so you can follow them from my channel you can also follow them from my website slotskill.com it is ranking number 1 in Google uh, many topics are ranking 1 in uh, Google so I'm so very thankful to you you can follow the notes from there you can follow the question answers from there here we are discussing certain MCQ question MCQs or the multiple choice questions which will help you in scoring good marks uh, in your exam right so whatever we whatever are the topics that we are doing from act 1 scene 1 question answers they are very important so positively follow this you can also uh, check the channel for the question answers other than that so that you can also score even better marks you have a book complete course book where you have consolidated meaning a complete uh, total idea of both English 1 and English 2 meaning literature as well as language you will get it class 9 topics all the topics are here as I will show you too um, these are the first few pages of the book uh, you see in the internal assessment what are the uh, format what, are, what is the format in which your questions may come then uh, what will be the topics the number of marks that you have over here how to write what is tested over here everything is given other than that uh, paper 2 may English literature's uh, topics as you can see Bonku Babu, Oliver Ask for More, Model Millionaire, Homecoming, Poetry may say Night Mails, Kimball Shanks, I Remember, Doctor's Journal, Work of Artifice, all these topics along with Julius Caesar's uh, topic that is Act 1 and Act 2 that you have in your exam is present over here you can follow them from e English language you can see composition, letter writing, notice, email, comprehension, grammar whatever is there you will find it over here so you can purchase this book um, just like I have done and use them so without any more delay let us continue with our topic you see today's topic is question answers MCQ right question answers we are going to discuss and sorry we are also going to discuss uh, not just the question answers we are also going to discuss the MCQ as I have already told you you can of course follow slotskill.com this is going to be highly useful for you because you can find lot many topics uh, which are present over here which will be helpful notes and stuff right so don't forget slotskill.com then uh, let's move into the practice paper as you can see this is the first paper we will have two practice papers from act 1 scene 1 so practice paper 1 we are going to do today next class we are going to continue with practice paper 2 right so let us begin first see choose the correct answer from the options given below okay choose the correct answers from the options given below what are the options let us see question number one why does Marulus criticize the commoners why does Marulus you know Marulus and Flavius there were two characters in the first scene so why did Marulus criticize the common people okay first reason, option is because they are not dressed properly for the holiday because they are not working on a laboring day because they are not celebrating Caesar's triumph because they are not showing respect to the carpenter and the cobbler of course the answer is going to be what it is going to be because they are not working on a laboring day this day they should work but that they are not working they are roaming around wearing their beautiful dresses so he was annoyed so he was criticizing them question number two why does the cobbler lead the men about the streets Matlab, why is he taking them around the streets what is his motto to wear out their shoes now of course he says this but this cannot be a true reason right to celebrate Caesar's triumph uh, this can be a reason to find new customers for this one also he gives as a reason ki the, uh, the shoe and the, the, the soles of the shoes would uh, you know wear out and then he can mend more shoes but that is of course a funny reason which is not actually the proper reason to make a holiday and rejoice in Caesar's honor this is better right to make a holiday why because uh, they wanted to honor Caesar because he was victorious over whom over Pompey and his sons next question question number three 
why does merulus criticize the roman people because they are hard hearted and cruel because they are not respecting caesar's triumph because they did not recognize pompey because they are putting on their best attire so answer will be which one of course because they did not recognize pompey because once upon a time they were you know very fond of pompey see first option is also saying that they are hard hearted and cruel but the reason is not written we have to mention about pompey that makes it the right point so there can be two options which seem to be correct but over there you have to choose the better option of the two right now question number 4 what is the carpenter criticized for why is he being criticized because they are uh, be, uh, not wearing his leather apron not knowing the meaning of the holiday not having his best apparel on not being in his in his shop so why was the carpenter criticized almost the same reason that he was not wearing his leather apron that is the dress that he should wear like a uniform right so he was not wearing his leather apron so he was criticized next question 5 what is the cobbler's response to merulus's question about his trade cobbler ne answer kya diya what was his response he is a carpenter he is a surgeon he is a cobbler he is a mechanic so this is a very simple question we will simply write that he is a cobbler he directly said initially he had directly said it right that he is a cobbler question number 6 why does merulus call the cobbler a naughty knave the cobbler is being disres- disrespectful he was not respecting the uh, two people merulus and flavius the cobbler insulted merulus the cobbler is not answering directly merulus is in bad mood see he was not disrespectful he did not insult merulus directly but he was not answering directly you see it was constantly you know he was making a pun from his words somebody was asking in the comment section what is a pun pun means when you say something and you mean something different you know you have a second meaning to it right so that is a pun here also he was using pun ki i can mend souls uh, in that he was when you say soul you don't know whether it is s o u l or s o l e whether it is shoe ka soul ya fir soul in your heart so he was saying like that so that uh, he could understand it in a way that he wanted him to understand right that is a pun question number 6 done question 7 why does the cobbler mean what does the cobbler mean by saying cobble you he wants to mend merulus's clothes he wants to mock merulus he wants to fix merulus's shoes he wants to challenge merulus of course he wants to fix merulus's shoes right option number c the real reason is this but if you if the question uh, was asking what was the pun intended in the uh, in the phrase cobble you then you could have written that he wants to challenge merulus that will be the pun but in reality what is his direct statement that he can fix merulus's shoes the soles of his shoes right question 8 why is the cobbler not in his shop on that day okay so he is celebrating caesar's triumph he is attending a holiday parade he wants to wear out people's shoes again i told you that is a joke that cannot be a real reason okay and uh, and he is taking a break from work he is of course celebrating caesar's triumph okay next question number 9 now uh, in the next um, uh, practice paper 2 you will also get some um, these things uh, one extra bonus question over there also you will have mcq certain mcqs plus one bonus mcq also you will get okay and long answer type questions also i will remind you once again you can go back to slotskill.com you can check uh, the question answers that i have put for uh, act from act 1 scene 1 okay that will be helpful to you you will be able to score good marks as the most probable questions are already given you have your workbook evergreen workbook you can practice from there xavier pinto's workbook if you have you can practice from there then i have given the rest of the extra questions what else you can score good marks okay uh question 9 what does merulus question the roman people about so their ignorance of the feast of lupercal their lack of respect for caesar their excessive celebration their failure to recognize pompey so this is the reason for which he was questioning the roman people their failure to recognize that once upon a time they were so fond of uh, pompey and now they have completely forgotten him and he they are celebrating uh, for somebody who has won over pompey okay that was the reason question 10 why does the no, feast of lupercal is also important there you will get a question in my extra questions also why does merulus criticize the roman people for putting on their best attire it is inappropriate for a holiday it is disrespectful for uh, for Pom- to pompey it shows their fickleness or fickle mindedness it is a waste of resource 
so of course it is disrespectful to pompey because once upon a time i uh, you are you people are fickle minded right it shows their fickleness this is also a point but better point is when you have mentioned pompey's name right so uh, that is why he was criticizing them so 10 mcqs we have done now we will move on to the long answer type questions which is also going to be very helpful first check uh, the extract read the extract properly and then find out your answers otherwise you can make a mistake right what is the extract hence hence flavius is saying hence go away home you idle creatures get you home is this a holiday what know you not what know you not being mechanical you ought not uh, mechanical means when you uh, have some labor when you work when somebody is a carpenter somebody is a cobbler you do some work so you ought not work upon a laboring day without the sign of your profession if you are coming out of your house on a laboring day on a working day or a week day you have to wear your uniform and come out you cannot rejoice just like that so without the sign of your profession speak what trade art thou so what work you do question number 1 why does flavius tell the commoners to go home very easy question first i will tell you the direct answer you can write them down if you want pausing the video or uh, you can just listen and frame your own answers then i'll explain also what does flavius tell the commoners to why does flavius tell the commoners to go home flavius tells the commoners to go home because they should not be walking around on a laboring day without the sign of their profession okay you can also add because he did not like uh, a situation where uh, the people were coming out to rejoice uh, caesar's victory uh, when a few days back or a few months back they were uh, happy for pompey okay next question what are the commoners professions what are the commoners professions you will write that the commoners profession somebody was a carpenter another one was a cobbler okay question number 3 why does marulus question the carpenter and cobbler about their trade why does he question them ki what work you do why does he question that marulus questions them to emphasize that they should, because they are cobblers and because they are carpenters they should not walk around here and there on a laboring day and they should not participate in a holiday celebration to rejoice caesar which is not even a proper reason they should go and work on a working day right question number 4 how does the cobbler describe his trade that means how is he how does he say he what work he does what will you say very simple question you will say the cobbler describes that he is a mender of bad soles and a surgeon to old shoes both of the points you have to write that is why you have to remember these two phrases he is a mender of bad soles that is where the pun is used you can be asked what is the pun over here pun intended over here you can say what i have already told you before ki bad soles ke bare mein that he was actually trying to say that i can even mend your soul if you want me to but i am actually a mender of bad soles or shoe soles and he also says that he is a surgeon to old shoes he is a doctor to old shoes right even if you are not using the word surgeon you have to write doctor of old shoes and also that point as a mender of bad soles right last question why is the cobbler not in his shop on that day why is the cobbler not there because he was rejoicing caesar's um, or you can directly say the cobbler explains that they are making a holiday to see caesar and rejoice in his triumph because caesar was victorious over pompey and his sons they want to wanted to show him respect show him honor honor him and celebrate it as a holiday when caesar was returning that is why they were out and not present in their shop that is why they were wearing their best dress or apparel okay so here we come to an end to our today's uh, question answers and mcqs this is a very short scene so uh, not much questions will be there whatever i'm saying that also is important carefully you listen along with the questions plus next class we will do the practice paper 2 of the same scene then we will move on to the next scene as you can see over here so so once more i will remind you do not forget to check slotskill.com this is a very useful website for you and this will help you out all answers notes and everything is given you can follow them and score a lot of marks right whatever you need you will see key below this uh, below the post for example you have searched for julius caesar act 1 scene 1 line by line explanation so over there when you have read everything one after the other you have read you have Uh, finished off now you want ki if there is a question answer from uh, act 1 scene 3 uh, it would help you so there you will find a comment section there you can 
write it yeah i want this so i will know it from there and directly i can post right so second of all you can subscribe also there that website so that whenever i post anything if it is helpful to you you will get to know right that is all thank you so much hope to see you in my next video with a different or the second set of question answers from act 1 scene 1 of julius caesar right bye bye